for the hand holding support. This is not how I pictured my labor and delivery to go. I would have preferred for my mom to be here. She told me that she would be at the hospital soon, and we've been in the hospital for like four hours now, so I just had to call her again. Where are you? Look at that sizzle on that plate. I know you lied. Something like that, girl. We have to buy the eat first. When she called and said that they were going to keep her and induce her, um, I told her I would be there shortly, but they said it was going to be 12 hours before arriving or beginning to arrive, so I didn't feel the need to rush to get there. Listen, Anaya's mom hella confuses me. One minute, I'm like, this woman is annoying the hell out of me. Next minute, I'm like, okay, I understand what she's doing. So initially, I thought, you know what? <clears throat> she didn't want to, she didn't attend the war. At first, I thought she didn't want to take her daughter to the hospital because she wanted her daughter to have the experience of going there with her man because this is building their relationship because they're going to become parents, right? And also, on top of that, it's her daughter's fault as well as uh, 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 Daquan's fault or Daly's fault. For obviously them to get pregnant in the first place. So you know what? Take the responsibility and do it by yourselves. So at first I was like, okay, cool. Maybe that, that, that was the whole idea behind that, right? Even though it still annoyed me. But then to tell your daughter that you're gonna you're gonna attend, and then she rings you and you're not even on your way. Alright, cool. I can still run with that for the moment. And at the moment, I can still run with that. You know, maybe you you're just trying to say, hey, you put yourself in this position, so you're you're on your own. I can respect it to a certain certain degree because I do believe in tough love. But, but then there was a turning point. Let's get into it. So, went out to eat. Can't believe my mom was just taking her very sweet, precious time while I was being induced. But maybe she didn't understand. As a mom, she should be in the room. COVID? What do you mean COVID? <laughs> like, how do I have COVID? Yeah, it's actually quite sad that obviously, you know, she finds out that she had that COVID at the time of giving birth. How do I have COVID? I become nervous until she said she tested positive for COVID. And then at that point, I began to put things in motion to her and get to her. I called Anaya and I let her know that it was best that I be the one that's in the room with her. I explained to her and Diddy both, you know, you guys are getting ready to have a child of your own. And it arranges to be. So this is the part I was like, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> so you didn't want to come and be there because it was 12 hours long. So you decided to do your own little thing. Cool. I had the reasons at the time, but now because you found that she got COVID and you found out because there's COVID in the room, there's only one person allowed in the room when it comes to delivery. And of course, because you're the mama now, you make sure that it's you rather than Day Day. Now, listen, I get it. Mom has got experience. Mom will know what to say. And mom will know how to will know how to handle the situation. Of course, she's going through the process of giving a child. I absolutely get that. But uh <laughs> There are many people in this world that get that give birth by themselves and they have to go through it and figure it out by themselves or with the support of the, the team that's obviously working with them. Do you see what I'm saying? So for me personally, I'm looking and I'm thinking to myself, you neglected your child pretty much when I thought that you was doing the right thing. But the moment that you found that you wasn't going to be in there for that special moment when the baby's delivered, you was like, now I'm going to get down there and I'm, like, I'm going to kick him out and put myself in there because you have more experience. Like I said before, not everybody who gets pregnant gives birth based on experience. Some people are in there by themselves. You see what I'm saying? So really and truly, was the mom right to kick Day Day out and stop him from getting an opportunity to see his child being born for the very well, their child being born for the very first time so yeah, so was the mom right to kick him out? So he, he avoids that? Or was she right to kick... Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait. So was the mom right to kick him out for that? Or wrong to kick him out for that because she wanted she wanted to be there instead? I'm sure you know what I mean. Come on now, don't, don't mess about me. But anyway, let's continue. So right now, I'm telling you, he needs to come on behalf of him. I'm not going to be left with that. After a nice month getting me out, I was just mad. I was scared for what was going on. I didn't know what was going to happen. What if she died? So if I don't see her again, it's her mom's fault. Now, of course, you know, obviously he's upset because obviously he's not going to be able to see the child, see, see, his, see his girl, as well as obviously his child. Uh, that's what the best bad to, be, bad to be delivered. And he's got a good point. What if things go south in there? This was the last time I see my I see my child and the baby. I mean, don't be wrong. He's definitely been a bit dramatic, but I understand it. Emotions are high because he was really looking forward to this. And let's be real. The whole time then these two were together, first and foremost, the fact that he came there with it was fantastic. Then he stayed awake for the whole thing when she expected him to fall asleep, which is fantastic. Then he was doing what he can to keep her happy, to keep her going, which was fantastic. He was literally being a supportive freaking man, man. Do you know what I mean? For such a young age, it was fantastic to see. So that's why for me personally, as the more I sit here, I'm like, was the mum wrong for this though? In my opinion, I feel like she was wrong for it. 
But I guess maybe I could be wrong for saying that because obviously I don't know nothing about childbirth. But like I said before, not everybody has people with them. A lot of mothers don't even have the fathers in there. I don't know. You, you guys let me know, of course, because I know there's plenty of people that have been in this position who are going to know the situation. But for looking at it from this perspective, mm, the mum's attitude, I haven't been happy with it personally. But and I tested positive for COVID and they said only one person could be in the room with her. So, of course, that one person would be me. So after that, I just left and went home. I felt like my heart was going to red out because it just kicked me out. In that moment, I realized that I wasn't going to be able to see my son being born. Man, I feel for the brother. I feel for him, man. Absolutely feel for him. I'm just saying he's been there for the whole freaking process. She didn't have to ring him thousands of times. She didn't have to convince him. She didn't have to go drag him down there. The mom the whole time is like, no, no, man, 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 man. Fully support him. I'm just saying. How many people do you know in your life right now, women in your life right now, that have a supportive man, boy, whatever, that's willing to be there with you for the process? Anyway, with that being said, let me know what you're thinking down below. But uh, let's move on to the uh, next couple. Give up. But he's not answering my calls, so I don't know what's going on. The plan was my dad was going to pick up Graham and he was going to stay the night. Because I'm not going to get up at 5 in the morning and drive 30 minutes out of the way just so he can be there. Thank you. All right. Bye. I think it's really crappy that Graham's just outside playing basketball whenever he should be getting ready to come over. I feel like Kaylee should chill out a little bit. Before Kaylee was pregnant, she's just goofy. And we would usually go play basketball in my house or play football. And that's how everything used to be because everything's just so serious now. This is a very interesting situation, to be honest with you. I mean, first and foremost, <laughs> you can't expect a pregnant woman to have the same energy that she had before she was pregnant. You know what I mean? Before you two did not have, well, she wasn't pregnant. And uh, she, she didn't have a big responsibility to look forward to. Do you see what I'm saying? As well as yourself. So, of course, she's not going to be the same person. Okay, first and foremost. Now, is there anything wrong with him going out and playing basketball? No, not at all. You know, as long as it doesn't conflict any arrangement that they have, then there's nothing wrong with it. But, of course, in this situation, it did. Because, you know, she, her dad is on his way to pick him up. And instead of getting ready, he's out there playing basketball. Now, I get it. The boy's got a lot of things going on, which is something we are going to get into. But uh, really and truly, I, I'm going to say that this isn't even a matter of who's right or wrong with these two. It's more of a matter is they're both very young and they're both still trying to figure it out. But one of them is getting, but one is getting support, more support from the family, while the other one is having to look after his family member, which is obviously what makes it a bit more challenging. But let's get into it a bit more. Can the doctor find or not? Oh, well, I was going to come if you picked me up in the morning, but I didn't really want to stay. Why wouldn't you stay? Because I'm not trying to get up at 5 in the morning. Because I just want to stay on my mom. He's doing too good, and you just kept begging me to stay, and you're not. I ain't begging you to stay nowhere. I told you that. You can come. We're freaking hung up on me. Participating, he's not helping. And I don't foresee it being a very good relationship for either of them. I would say that unless Graham's communication improves, their relationship is going down south because right now say the, the the biggest issue they have is that i feel like graham's uh communication just isn't where it needs to be at you know what i mean you know despite the flaws that they have i think that's the biggest one because you got kaylee and her mom now stressing about graham 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 and also about graham's mother too it seems to me when it comes to graham and his mom communication is just not their strong point which is what stressing these two out even more and therefore they're now thinking things that may be that are incorrect based on what we're going to see um shortly Jason is here, I want to be involved as much as I can. But he's not here yet, so I feel like it's kind of unfair. Kaylee's forcing me to stay at her house and go to the baby doctor appointment in the morning. There's nothing unfair about her wanting you to be there for the process of your child, bro. Nothing unfair about that. The only thing that's unfair is you not wanting to be a part of it or you not thinking it's a big deal. These are memories you're building. Just because the baby's not here doesn't mean the memories haven't begun yet. It's the last time you get to go see the ultrasound, I think it is anyway, so come on. Mom has bipolar episodes and I just want to be there to support her. I'm staying at Kaylee's house tonight because she told me I have to go to the baby doctor appointment in the morning. I feel like it would have been less stressful if just her and her mom would have went and just texted me any updates or anything like that. But I do have a lot on my plate. It's not just being a 15-year-old and having a girl pregnant. My mom has anxiety and bipolar. She'll be happy and then the next minute she'll just get super down on herself. So Here's the thing, here's the thing, I've never obviously experienced someone with bipolar, so obviously I don't know the, the ins and outs of it and how deep it is, but the thing is, though, you've got a child on the way and your priorities have to be put in the right place. You know, at the end of the day, um, sometimes in life, we have to make we have to make tough, tough choices. 
and sadly you're in a position where you may have to make to make a tough choice you know and that tough choice currently right now is what's more important the baby to come or your mom now of course there's a way to find a balance there's always a way to find a balance without a shadow of a doubt you know I mean, it's, it's a shame because, of course, you know, it was never part of the plan for him to be, for him and Katie to have a kid so young. That's obviously something that's definitely made things uh, very sticky. And I get it. He's, he's given up uh, a lot of things, you know. Uh, he's now working. And not, not only is he working, but he's also trying to do what he can to be there for his mom whenever she has episodes. And I get it. And, uh, but the only problem is, is that it just feels like as if he's worried more about being there for his mom than he does worried about there being being there for Kaylee and I think the problem is is that right now he should really show Kaylee is going to be there because she needs to know that when the baby comes he's going to be here you know and that's why he has to put that foundation in now rather than later you know so again it's a very sticky situation let me know your thoughts please we don't really have any other man in the house he's stressed out I know that he keeps a lot in to see him cry it hurts it hurts I understand that you worry but you worry but and i you know i have been sick i do wish that he wouldn't worry about me you know yeah i find that hard to believe to be honest with you i've got a feeling that the mom has pretty much put a lot of this pressure on him to be honest with you i feel like he's probably been going through this for a while pre kaylee's existence before the baby was even a thing you know and i think now it's a matter of where he could manage it before because he only had the responsibility of his mom but now he doesn't have that anymore he's got the responsibility of his mom and also a child to come and it's all becoming overwhelming and if anything the best thing that his mom could do in my opinion is say to him son listen Please don't worry about worry worry about me anymore. You need to do what's best for you and the future of your 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 family. Okay, that's what the mom should be saying. I'm not saying she hasn't said it, but it doesn't feel like she said it because boy, as much I'm worrying more about the baby coming breakdown. It just it makes me realize that my main focus has been a lot on Kaylee and all that's going on in her life and the changes that's taking place in her body. Yeah, but respectfully, she's a door. Of course, you're gonna focus about your focus on your door. Why why are you gonna think about Graham? You know what I mean? He's got his own mum, right? So really, truly, of course you're mine. I mean, all I'm saying is that Kaylee's mum is not wrong for trying to think of her daughter the whole time and neglecting Graham because her responsibility is to her daughter, not necessarily Graham, you know? But sadly, uh, it looks like as if uh, when it comes to it, her responsibility is going to need is gonna be for her daughter as well as Graham too because Graham's mother, on the other hand, it's very hard to pinpoint where her re reliability is at. I mean, look at it this way. Uh, Kaylee's family has to go pick him up, drop him back home, you know what I mean? If without that, he's not even without without that, he's not even seen. Um, Kaylee, let's just let that sink in. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a very really sticky one, but hey, let me know your thoughts and your opinions. But let's move on to the uh, next couple. He's here, but he's a 16 year old boy, and no guy can really understand what it's like to carry a baby. What's wrong? I don't want to be pregnant anymore. I know. Any more time, and I'm not even on full centimeter dilated. <laughs> time she needs to also remember that he's 16 he's going to be immature there's going to be things that annoy you i would take those little immaturities over someone who is absent from wanting to be involved at 16. say it louder for those people in the back you know um listen emily's pregnant i get it you know what i mean she's going through emotions i get it absolutely uh nate's obviously young you know and obviously he's still trying to process what's going on and i would say that because they're both young despite the fact that she's 18 he's 16 either way though they are both going to struggle with understanding how they how they should communicate to one another. Um, they're both going to struggle to understand what they are both going for individuals, and therefore there's going to be that level of where Emily's going to think a lot of it is all revolved around her more than about him. And this is obviously a part of being a teenager, right? And teenage years are the years where we start to try and figure out, or at least should be trying to figure out who we are as a person and the person that we want to be, you know what I'm saying? But that has obviously been hindered for both of them because obviously they've got a child in the way. It's, 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 it's one of those things when I look at it and I listen to it, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be too critical because they are young. You know what I mean? I don't want to sit here and start being like, well, no, you're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong. As if they're adults who are messing things up when they're, when they're not. Both of them are still kids, right? But let's play, let's play, let's play, let's play. Easy. Nate just sitting there silent when he knows I'm upset. Like you have, you're struggling, but at the same time, I still struggle too. Say it louder, bro. No one, like, no one seems to care about that. Everyone just cares about Emily and how she's doing. That's not true. Okay, well, you also never, like, checked up on me. Yes, I did. Don't. Yeah, I don't think she did, to be honest with you, man. The way she's like, this is it. Mm. Even, but he's mad about everything. And then when he does vocalize it, it literally is just an argument because he's just 
Matt. That's why I don't vocalize it, because when I do, I'm always the one in the wrong. You wait until you're really mad, and then you just, like, attack me about everything. I hope Emily can learn from this because really and truly what he's trying to say to you is that each time he tries to speak to you, your reactions aren't exactly welcoming. Okay? Your reactions are not welcome whatsoever. You know, and because they're not welcome, that's why he ends up not saying anything. And that's what may probably puts him in a position where he ends up saying things once he's had, to, he's had enough. I do believe that he's definitely tried to communicate at some point, you know, but all men do try and communicate to begin with. But obviously when they get shut down every single time, they don't bother. We, all, we When we get shut down from having a voice, in the end, we just shut down from speaking in general. You know what I mean? So I relate to what Nate's saying here. And I hope this is something that they can both um, potentially get better at. Because I'm not going to see and say that she's being this or being that because... She's learning too. And to be fair, that I will say that for them to even learn that, to, to, to learn the fact that he has a voice too, and to learn the fact that she may shut him down each time he speaks, that's probably going to be a very hard thing to learn while she's pregnant because their hormones are probably all over the joint. Probably will still be hard even when the baby comes too because there's going to be a whole lot of, you know, looking after the baby. But hey, boy, man, trying to, trying to, trying to grow up as a young parent, damn, how people do that is crazy, man. This is exhausting. God damn. And then it's just an argument. And I don't know why you do it. And it's like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Ah, typical, typical, typical. When the conversation isn't going the way you want it to go, what happens? The person who isn't liking the direction gets up and goes. Again, I could see and say that, listen, Emily, you're, you're out of line. Why are you getting up for? Da 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 da. But you know what? Though? I'd rather be, in, I'd rather be uh, uh, um, informative. I'd rather guide you, give you advice. You know what I'm saying? Um, thing is, you know what? I, I, li I like these two together. You know? I don't think they're a bad couple. You know? I just think that obviously there's a lot of learning to do. But, but I will say this though Kaylee needs to, no, is it no, Emily needs to stop looking at Nate as if he's a kid. Because that, that's something that I've recognized because he's 16 or whatever and she's 18 she's always looking down at him like well I'm older so da 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 she needs to stop that because he needs to feel valued you know what I mean he needs to feel like he's got a voice he needs to feel like as if he's equal as long as he doesn't feel equal to her that, that's always going to cause him problems do you see what I'm saying so she needs to humble that there's no need for that because just because you're 18 doesn't mean that you're more mature than him in any kind of capacity you're both still freaking kids you're both still freaking young that's just a grand scheme of it but I will say this though, it is very, very, it's a good thing that, that Nate's mom is in a picture because obviously Emily doesn't have a mother role in her picture, she only got her father. So, and it's a very good thing that Nate's mom is very understanding, very open, and, do you know what I mean? So, and it's also good that they both got a very good relationship as well. So the fact that she got a very healthy relationship with Nate's mom is going to be even better for their relationship moving forward. You know, sometimes people don't understand the impact that parents can make, you know, and uh, it's only, it's only, it's always going to be amazing if the, if the parents have a positive reaction, uh, positive relationship with you both. So there, there is another positive there, to be honest with you. She just, she just needs to make sure that her dad doesn't try and slide into Nate's mum's, uh, because <laughs> he's already expressed how much, uh, <laughs> I mean, she ain't too bad, to be fair. Who can blame the man? <laughs> but nonetheless, though, let's get into the uh, final couple. What can I do to help? Let me think. The Mario? Oh, that's no. God, it's hard to get a kid that's totally addicted. And he's addicted, and it's really hard to... Uh, you have three months to get him off the boob, or you're going to be doing this in your wedding dress. Mommy's got a picture for you. Sit, sit down. Oh. There's a little wild man. I did regret bringing him. One more moment about the first look. It is a little bit more intimate than seeing each other going down the aisle for the first I think that the meeting was a disaster. Honestly, I really think people who get married before having kids are onto something, because this is nuts. I'll keep this one simple, to be honest with you. <laughs> you're, you're not disciplining your kids. It's just that simple. Your child is running riot because he knows he can, because he knows that you don't pay the cost. You don't, you, you don't give him consequences. It's just that simple. You know, he has, he, he clearly lacks um, discipline. He clearly lacks a structure. You know, he, he clearly is allowed to just do what he likes for the most part and gets away with it. And that's something that I've seen in some of the episodes anyway. The, you know, the kids are always running around doing da, 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 this and that. You know what I mean? So really and truly, um, Lily needs to look in the mirror and recognize that maybe her parenting skills aren't exactly where they should be at. And I'm not even going to use her age as an excuse because this is a girl who's now got two kids with two different guys. So when do you learn, when do you learn your lesson? You see what I'm saying? And uh, at the end of the day, if you're old enough to plan a wedding, you should be old enough to be able to set a structure around your kids so therefore they know how to behave. Because at the end of the day, for a child to come into a, an establishment like this and to be behaving like that, that's embarrassing. 
not embarrassed. Not the kid. The kid isn't embarrassed. It's, it's embarrassing on your behalf. You see what I'm saying? And I will be definitely harsh on this one because like I said this isn't the first child. And also on top of that, her child isn't as exactly young, young anyway. She's been she's obviously raised for a couple of years. So she should be doing better. Now, of course, we can also talk about how Lawrence is obviously not active in the house enough, because obviously he's always out working. So to be fair, there is also that part too where maybe Lawrence should also put in what where he should put in some more work and help her with um creating those boundaries, creating that discipline their structure so therefore the kids know to behave to know where where they need to behave and where they're allowed to just be a bit more free this is the place where she should have had this stuff sorted out and the fact that kids even asking for the boob i'm i don't know when you're supposed to stop breastfeeding but either way though like for me she needs to do better with the discipline side of things but nonetheless though that's just my opinion uh let me know your what you're thinking down below and we can talk about it don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace